With Castlevania Nocturne supposedly adapting Rondo of Blood's story, and since I've already done a spotlight on the villainous vampire Carmilla, I'd be remiss if I didn't also do a Mythology in a Minute episode on her seductive cohort, Laura. As with Carmilla, Laura's lore starts with her literary roots. Laura was the name of the protagonist of Joseph Sheridan Le Fanu's novel, Carmilla, for whom the titular antagonist befriended as a young woman of aristocratic background. Laura was taken in by Carmilla, a long-dead vampire who chose female victims and subtly seduces Laura into becoming her companion and possible lover. Laura is meant to be the hapless maiden who is tempted by the predatory Carmilla. Though this temptation isn't as forced as other vampire stories might be, and Laura does have some agency in the tale. In the Castlevania games, Laura debuts in Rondo of Blood and later Dracula X Chronicles as a beautiful young woman sitting alone within a chamber found by Richter Belmont or Maria Renard. No sooner does the hero arrive that the giant mask of Carmilla materializes and morphs into a giant skull with Carmilla naked atop it. While Carmilla attacks with fiery tears of blood dripping from her skull, Laura attempts to grab the hero and drain them of their hearts, alluding to her own vampiric nature. Should Carmilla be dispatched, Laura will shed her maiden form and don a fighter's attire and begin rapidly attacking with kicks and jumps until she too is destroyed. This boss fight heavily references the Leaf Anew novel's association between Carmilla and Laura, and the two are rarely seen apart in the later game titles, with the exception of Portrait of Ruin, where Laura as a fighter is a normal enemy. Laura and Carmilla both make another appearance in the alternate Lords of Shadow timeline, where Laura is a childlike vampire and treated as Carmilla's adopted daughter, having been turned by Carmilla centuries prior. Laura has a more tragic role in the Lords of Shadow universe and is not nearly the loyal servant of Carmilla she is in the main Castlevania timeline, instead aiding protagonist Gabriel Belmont when she sees fit as a means of breaking away from Carmilla. While Laura doesn't make an appearance along with Carmilla in the first Castlevania Netflix adaptation, the character Lenore certainly fills a large chunk of Laura's role. Lenore is also a beautiful maiden vampire who is close with Carmilla and acts subservient to her, despite her station being supposedly equal to Carmilla's. So now you have the brief backstory of Laura and her larger role within the Castlevania mythos. Got more lore about Laura? Hoping she'll show up in Castlevania Nocturne? Leave a comment and let me know, and thanks for watching.